Hello, Brimmits. What's going on? You are watching The Jordan Show. My name is Jordan and I'm from Jordan. Today we are watching Bill Bear Thinks Women Are Overrated. It's a, uh, like an interview on Conan. Please don't forget to subscribe. Roll it! That's my best friend. Your show, F is for Family, I relate to it because it's about parenting in the 70s, and that's, you know, that was when I was parented, like you. What do you think of parents now? How do you compare them to parents in the 70s? Oh, it's just completely, the kids have so much power. It's, like, ridiculous. Like, half of these kids, I'm like, I look, and I just have what happened to me. And I'm, like, looking at a kid and be like, this kid's about ready to get punted across the grocery store. And it just never happens. Right. They just... They just don't get hit. <laughs> and I think it's hurting You're this mad. country. You're mad. Wait a minute. <laughs> Damn. Damn. No, like, got this lead. This You're mad that children are, are not being uh, this hit. Sh this should be the threat of it. Half of it, it was just the look. It was oh, my God. You know, like, for us, it's not the 70s. Like, when I grew up in the, in the 90s, this is what I experienced, you know, like... Like, it's really not safe to be around anybody, especially my parents, you know? Like, it's really not safe. It's like, you're always, like, like, well, alert. You're always alert that something will hit you. And uh, because, you know, we didn't know what, what's wrong and right yet, you know? So we do, like, stupid things that we get hit for. And we just didn't know anything about it, you know? Like, like... Yeah, just the stupidest things ever that we never really understand why it's wrong to do and you get like punished for. It's fucking, it's fucking crazy. As much as they paint it now these days about don't, uh, you know, hit your kids and stuff like that. And I say that with, the, with no intention of me having kids whatsoever, okay? Just to be clear. It really... Like, it was not that bad, you know? As hard as, like, I, I thought about it when I was a kid. I was like, oh my God, why am I getting punished all the time? Why why am I having so, mu so much time, like, uh, locked somewhere? Or, like, why my father just punched me in the face or something like that? But the thing is, like, if I... I see how I deal with my little brothers and sisters, because I'm the oldest and I have a lot of uh, little brothers and sisters... I'm like, I wish I can just, you know, just like, you know, just a little punch in the face. But, you know, I can't these days. It's exactly the same. I just can't. And they really do have so much power. Oh, my God. My little si sister, she's like six years old. And she is the ultimate ru ruler in my family's house. She is the god there. She just does whatever she wants to do. And she, she makes you do stuff. What happened? How this power shift happened? Like, what exactly happened? I have no fucking idea. Okay, let's keep watching. It's just your dad was acting like he was going to do it. He never did it, but your mother did. And because, <laughs> because she was, no, because she was a woman, it was like, okay. Because yeah. it was like, hey, you, know, you let a girl beat you up, you know, you kind of felt emasculated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had a rule, like, I actually, a lot of the stuff that I look at from when I was a kid that actually kind of made sense in a way is now, would now be considered, like, abuse, I guess. <laughs> like, when I was a kid, if you didn't finish your supper, as we called it. Supper, yeah. Yeah, my mother was just like, well, you're going to finish, you're gonna, um, she would just wrap it in cellophane, and you just picked up where you left off for breakfast. <laughs> like, like a blue-collar job. Like, you the, take the shovel out of the hole and just start digging it again. <laughs> so... Yeah, I remember one night we had cube steaks, which is like one of the toughest pieces of meat. I don't know if you guys, everything's so like Asian infused, Wagyu beef, everybody's eating that crap right. now. But cube steak was like, they had, literally had to hit it with a hammer to make it like edible. And uh, so we haven't cube What the fuck is that? Do you know what's cube steaks? I have no idea what, what, what are cube steaks exactly. 
mistakes. And I forget, my little brother was still in a high chair, and he couldn't finish his. So my mother goes, all right, we're well, just going to have to eat it for breakfast. And that was like eight hours away, which was like half his life. <laughs> take that deal. Half his life. It's fucking awesome. So the next morning, we, I remember we were having waffles. My mother always made Sunday breakfast. So we had all these waffles, eggs, bacon, this whole layout. My brother was looking at half-eaten cubes. Steak. Eggs. <laughs> and a little mound of green bean casserole. <laughs> and he goes, so he looked at my mom, he goes, Mom, can I, can I have a waffle? And she goes, no, you gotta finish your supper. He's like, well, after I finish my waffle, uh, supper, then can I have a waffle? She goes, no, that is your breakfast. And he goes, oh, Mom, I hate you. And my dad, without looking at <laughs> Oh my God, yeah, I can't have kids. I really can't. Up, took a full glass of milk and threw it. <laughs> Imagine this. Imagine this. This is what kills me. What kills you me. You want everyone today to have as miserable a childhood as no. you have. <laughs> no, but it was kind of funny. I just, we know what's hilarious was my mother just popped up and just immediately started cleaning up, and my dad just kept eating. <laughs> Like the roles were defined back then. Now the guy has to throw the milk, he has to clean it <laughs> while telling his <laughs> The roles were defined. To be honest, like here in the Jordanian family structure, like the house, like the family is the responsibility for the for the woman. The guy is just making the money. He doesn't do anything whatsoever. So like my mom is the god of the family when when or like for example the most important person in my family right now is my grandmother. She's like literally a god. That's how we deal with her right now. His wife, she's brave for just sitting there. <laughs> like whatever that is. Can you hear it? Oh, oh, oh I know. <laughs> Women are so overrated, right? We we went from wait, night. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. The feminist, the feminist army will come and kick our asses right now. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> we what? went, wait, we went, what? we went from not listening to them to now it's just, it's just, it, you know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like that, believe women. It's like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> how about, how about eighty-five percent? I'll give you eighty-seven percent. All right. <laughs> But that last 13% that keys your car, lights your shit on fire, and puts a family pet in <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, this guy is fucking awesome. Up in a pot of stew? <laughs> Who put a pet in a pot of stew? Glenn Close. Oh, that, yeah, that's, yeah, okay, all right. I think I it was a say, separately boiled. You know what I, I miss? I miss, yeah, tougher parenting and evidence. Those are the things that I missed from my childhood. <laughs> Evidence. Evidence. Yeah. You mean due people... process? Right. Somebody says something happened, and then someone else goes, "Well, I said it happened this way," like the old TV <laughs> shows, and they had to figure it out. Right. Yeah, that doesn't exist now on on social no, media. No, Twitter. It's just, like, it's just frontier justice. <laughs> right. You feel how nervous everybody just got in here? The fact that I just suggested that there should be due process. <laughs> This guy's talking crazy, man. Did he just join ISIS? <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is what it is. This, yo, what I'm saying. <laughs> and then the woos that they agreed, but they, were, they didn't agree when it counted. We can add, we'll digitally add woos, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we have the woo machine. Uh, you are way too angry. 50 is still relatively young. Oh my God! Yeah, Bill Bear. I love Bill Bear when he's angry. I, I really don't like him when he's just like being rational. I like him to go crazy and just start shouting like a crazy person. That's how he does. It. Like if he, that's how he does it on his podcast. You know, crazy person. It's too loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are the you have the anger of of a 110 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
all these telephones <laughs> in Loon I Game Bonding. <laughs> I, I can't argue. That was brilliant. <laughs> How crazy was that? What do you think about, you know, about that argument? Are women overrated? For me, they're not. For me, I'm, I'm a total feminist. I'm totally for equality. I, that's what feminist means, by the way. It doesn't mean any crazy thing that you can, you hear about the new feminists and stuff like that. Feminism is the, the movement to achieve quality for women in the workplace and in life in general, okay? Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and smash that like button. And don't forget the, you know, the, to, to actually uh, activate the bell notification thingy so you can get notifications whenever I post anything. And I have a donation link if you want to uh, suggest any new video in the description down below. See you guys in the next one. Peace the fuck out. That's my best friend.